you see it dumped in open pits and, and out in the ground. Usually you move to the country, you have nice air. Well, it's disgusting. It's our health, that's all it's about. People just think air pollution is something that's ugly and smelly, but the truth is it's something that's deadly. There are 22 super polluters in the whole country, and five of them are here in Indiana alone. Four of them in this 30 mile radius of Evansville that they locally call the sacrifice zone. A super polluter is basically a class of the worst offenders in the nation of power plants that release both the worst uh, toxic air emissions and greenhouse gases. Just in this particular area, the concentration of super polluter plants is is really unparalleled in anywhere in the U.S. And so what does that mean? Well, it, it means that we have a higher incidence of things like asthma, um, heart disease, lung cancer, and other cancers as well. I see an increased risk for prematurity, for developmental delays, for autism, for learning problems, for asthma, for respiratory disease. My students know that we live within 30 miles of seven coal fired power plants. What they don't know is that this is weird, right? They don't know, other kids don't line up for inhalers before recess. Spencer County is 23rd out of over 3,000 counties in the United States for toxic release. And the state of Indiana is sixth for toxic release per square mile. I live north of Fort Wayne, Indiana, 347 miles from here at Rockport. And this is where our power is generated. I leave my light on for my children at night so they can find the restroom. And a child in southern Indiana is potentially having an asthma attack because of my consumption. I definitely think that young people will leave the state or have left the state because of the pollution here. I'm a student at USI and currently I'm not sure after I graduate whether I want to stay or not due to the sheer amount of pollution. Forty years ago we put all these power plants in and we didn't have much choice. But today, right now, I mean it's time to shift to renewable energy. We're standing in front of our pole barn that has 50 solar panels on it, and from that array, we produce all the energy that we use in our home and in the barn itself. We live in a subdivision out here, and we have 14 homes in the subdivision, and four of these homes have solar on them. Clean energy would bring a better environment to Indiana by not having as much uh, air pollution, or air quality would improve. Um, there'd be more opportunities for innovation. People could take control of their own energy use. I always have a lot of hope for Indiana. And the more I see people joining us, the more hope I have for this state. I think people are beginning to wake up to the fact that the utilities are directing the legislature and they're directing the governor's office. Open your eyes and your ears, IPL. Legislators need to open their eyes and ears too. People have a vision of a cleaner Indiana, a healthier Indiana for our families. And they're going to start rising up and saying we want to repower Indiana. We're tired of the old way of doing things and we demand a better quality of life.